What is up everybody, in today's video we have how to dominate in every single build in NBA 2K19. If you guys could leave a like, share the video to everyone in the 2K community, hit that subscribe button if you're new, older, returning, 125,000 unique viewers per month. Be one of the unique viewers and hit that subscribe button for great 2K19 and 2K20 gameplay and videos, tips and tricks, everything you guys need on this channel. If you play Fortnite, use my content creator code CASSESLAKER24 in the Fortnite item store in your next Fortnite purchase. Let's get straight into the video. Now, the first thing you guys want to do is find a jump shot. Now, I've got three jump shots for three different three-point ratings. But the first three-point rating from 60 to 70 overall three-point rating, you want the set shot base of 13. Now, with 13, you can have release one Larry Bird and release two Kevin Duckworth. But remember, the base is all that matters. If you want release one and release two, I'm just putting them two because they're the easiest to time. Okay, with the second jump shot, we have jump shot base 24, Larry Bird release one, and Rudy Gay release two. You can use either set shot base 13 or jump shot 24 for the bases you use from a 50 to a 73 point rating. They're the best ones to use. In my opinion, a lot of people's opinions in the 2K community. I'm going to give you a jump shot for the 73 point rating up to the 99 three point rating, the best jump shot in NBA 2K19. A lot of you guys know the jump shot. I made this jump shot a lot on the channel. It is Rudy Gay, Larry Bird, Kevin Duckworth for the 73 point rating all the way to a 99. And if you want to change the base from Rudy Gay, which is the best base in the game, you can put any base you want. So base 11. Or Lamarcus if you want it super fast and have release one and release two the same. That's if you want super fast. If you want it just to be straight cash, you want Rudy Gay. Second thing you want to do is get your animations down pat. The best dribble pull up is Athletic Three. Then get your dribble moves all down pat as well. Get the best dribble moves. My subs sent me out these dribble moves, and you want to have the best dunks and layouts for your play. You don't want any scratch. What is it? Scratchbacks? Whatever it is. I can't remember the name. And you don't want anything too flashy because you're going to get bunk blocked a lot of the time. The third thing I want you guys to do is don't go to the my court and practice. Go to the Pro-Am and practice your jump shooting, your dribble moves, everything you want to learn, practice. Practice it in the 2K Pro-Am because it actually is the same park speed and difficulty as park. So that's why you do it here. As you guys can see, I practice. I don't know how to dribble that much, but I'm just in the in the lab right here, trying to dribble moves. I test out my jump shot every time before I chop on the park. That's what I got. What you guys to do. The next step is to go and do your badges. Max out your badges because the badges are the best thing in the game. If you have your badges maxed out, your player is going to become the best possible version of itself. If you're a pure sharp, you want your Hall of Fame shooting badges. You're a glass linear, you want that Hall of Fame bruise and Hall of Fame hustle rebound. You want the slashing with the Hall of Fame relentless finisher and Hall of Fame poster riser. So on and so forth. Pure shot creator, you want your difficult shots all the way and tireless score all the way. That is what you want. Then Alpha Dog, I haven't got that one yet, but Alpha Dog is a big one to get. It's hard to get in my career, but once you know the pattern, you can keep doing it. The third thing is, don't be scared to verse every opposition. Obviously, you know the, who the sweaties are in your lobby to stay away from. But you know these normal elite threes like these guys, you don't have to really worry about going near them. Who knows, they might be really trash, and we'll figure that out soon. As you guys can see, I know my jump shot. It's like muscle memory on my jump shot because I practice it and I play a lot. Now, the next step is knowing your defense on every build. If you're a glass cleaner, you don't want to sit on the three-point line unless you're on a pure stretch. But if I'm going to show you the guard defense, you always want to hold up the right stick, analog stick, and run with your, or walk with your hands up. And hold L2 or the left trigger at all times and move wherever your team, the player you're on, moves. I'm going to show you how to defend the pick a roll as well. These are the best ways to become the best version of your player. As you guys can see, these guys, this guy's an elite three, so obviously he knows how to play the game. So right here, see the guy on the screen? You want to go above the screen. So you want to go near the half court. And then just bump into your player. Because if they shoot on the side of you, it's not going to be contested. But if you're bumping him, he's not going to be able to make the shot because you're actually bumping him. But if you're going to stand next to him, he's going to make the shot. But as you guys can see, I have hands up, holding L2 at the same time. And he's going to make this or miss the shot 99% of the time. Because you've got your hands up, you've got the L2 up, you're heavily defending him, and he doesn't know what to do. 
But remember, if you don't have hands up and you stand next to him, he's just going to make the shot 100% of the time because he's not contested. So again, when you see the screen, you want to go near the half, but you want to go over the screen. Unless they're really good at screening, you want to go under the screen as well. Because if you're really good at defending, you're really fast, you can go under and over the, over the screen. But I highly recommend going over the screen. It's the best way to defend the player. Look at this. I'm bumping him at all times. Obviously, if they know how to dribble really good, you want to actually... I don't know how to do it when they're actually dribbling really hard. You just want to sit there with the hands up again and hold L2 and the sprint button at the same time with the hands up. They can't break your ankles if you do that because you're, it's just impossible for them to do it. The next step is the offensive end. Obviously, once you know your shot, it's going to help you out so much. See, so right here, I know my shot. I know when I can hit, have lightly contested shots like that one, even though it says open. As I said before, if they're just next to you and they don't put hands up, it's going to count as open every single time. As you guys can keep seeing by my offense, I am shooting good shots because I know what shots to take. With your glass cleaners, you can learn how to do post moves. That's the best way to do it if you're glass cleaner as well to get shots up. Or if you're a post scorer, learn your post moves. If you're a playmaking sharp like me, obviously learn your dribble moves. But I don't really have to because I've got good screeners to help me get open instead of me dribbling. But if you don't have good screeners, you want to learn how to dribble. And if you're any other build, like it's just all about knowing your shot. As you guys can see, I had lightly contested. But I know my shot, I know I'm going to hit that shot because I've got my hotspot. Obviously, get your hotspots up as well for the offensive end. That is another tip for you guys. Right here, so that's the really only tips I can really give you, is how to play great defense, great offense, how to get your dribble moves up, how to get all your badges up. Make sure you play, make sure you play as at least a 90 overall as well, unless you're just a pure stretch. You can just have like a 70 overall or maxed out three and have all your badges maxed out. Obviously, have your badges. Get them jump shots, practice them in the Pro-Am, practice your dribble moves in the Pro-Am, and you will become the best version of yourself in NBA 2K. So that is the video. One more time, get the jump shot that you feel comfortable with and you know how to time and how to use. Muscle memory, make sure to get that in your head because use the jump shots that I showed you and you will become a demigod. The next thing you want to do is get your badges maxed out. They are the biggest thing in this game. I've learned how the, I've made a video on how they work. If it's on my channel, let's go find it tells you how they work and how much percentage boost they give you and put boosts on to your jump shot and whatever else you use highly, highly recommend for jump shot boosts on every single time before you play the game that's a bigger tip i can give you guys get your dribble moves up so you get the right moves so your dunks layups your dribble moves you want your shots all the way up all the, the time try to get your player to at least a 90 overall or like an 89 90 because that means you can have the best version of yourself again and that is really all the tips that you need. How to play offense. I showed you how to play offense. I told you how to play defense. I showed you everything you guys need. But I do have another. I made another build today. If you made this far in the video, type in the comment section 5 foot 7 because that's what I'm about to upload. And I'm telling you right now, this player is going to be an absolute demigod. I can't wait to play with him. And it's going to be so fun to actually give him a go on the My Park. I might actually have to stream it on Twitch, obviously. Twitch is Cass's Lakers 24 on Twitch. Whenever I play 2K, I stream on Twitch, so you don't want to miss out on that. Because I do, I'm going to start doing a little bit more different gameplays instead of just tips and tricks. This was like the, one of the last tips and tricks of 2K19. 2K20 is just around the corner. Remember, it is it's about to be June, then you've got July, and then in September, we have 2K20 dropping. That is the news, and I can't wait for 2K20 because we're about to go off in 2K20 with the videos. Every single day uploads and double streams every single day. That's right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you are new, old, returning. If you've just, even if this is the first time you've made this far in the video, you haven't subscribed yet. What are you guys doing? Hit that subscribe button. Hit yourself in the face. Hit yourself in the stomach. Hit yourself in the leg. Whatever you have to to make yourself make, make sure you subscribe. Anyway, catch you guys in the next one. Follow me on my social medias. Use my Fortnite creator code as well if you made it this far. Because it helps me out tremendously to upgrade my build. Help upgrade my setup and stuff. Anyway, peace.